I'm Catherine Brunach. Um, I'm a mother to four children and wife, and I am um, a teacher. I was walking along the pavement, as you do, and uh, out of the blue I was mown down by a vehicle and I lost my leg. Uh, my name is Roger Bannister. I do very little these days, apart from getting some of my motorcycles ready for sale. It was on a Sunday. We'd, I'd gone out with the club members to Mersey Island just to go to a cafe and have a cup of tea and a natter. And uh, on the way home, I was approaching a set of lights less than half a mile from my house. And as I was going straight through the lights, a car coming towards me decided he was going to turn right and turn straight into the side of me and crushing my leg against the side of the bike. You have to make your mind up. You either sit there and do nothing or you stand up and get started. Like, you know. And like I said earlier, I'm a, a doer and I just made my mind up to get on with it best I could. Having done a lot of research um, regarding prosthetic legs, um, I knew I wanted a specific leg and that Dorset's orthopaedics was the place that could supply me with a leg and also the rehab to enable me to get back as much as possible. So Catherine and Roger first came to us via one of these MTT clinics um, on the basis um, that they wanted to find out more about whether or not osseointegration was going to be suitable. So they had um, rehabilitated initially with conventional sockets, had done really well, but could kind of really see um, where the limitations were going to be with wearing a, a standard socket and wanted to find out whether or not osseointegration was going to be both suitable and practical for them. And I think it's really important um, kind of making sure up front that patients realise that this is a, a journey, it's not just a one-off procedure. This is, a, this is probably a six to 12 month process in terms of getting them from that initial surgical point to, to, to being fully comfortable and, and fully um, able to do what they want to do with, a, with an osseo implant. One of the issues with the socket is putting it on and taking it off is time consuming. Um, sometimes you have to do it several times a day because um, the volume of your leg decreases into, if you're more active or depending on the weather. And that's difficult because life gets in the way really. You can't, you know, you, you might be out in the park and your legs comes loose and you know, you don't want to be fiddling around with leg in a public place. At the moment when I go fishing, my friend has to look after me an awful lot. I uh, have trouble landing fish, and I'm hoping I'll have a bit more stability to be able to do these things. And the great thing is I want to be able to walk further instead of being restricted so much, because it's the pain you get from the socket and the soreness restricts you a lot. I want my life back, or as much of it as I can possibly get. And being my age, I want to get as much of it before it's too late. <laughs> Obviously, once the operation has happened, I'll be totally in their hands. But they just give you confidence. They seem a very good team of people, to be honest. This is something that I really do feel um, that's worthwhile doing because hopefully it will improve the quality of my life. I, I'm keen to get started now so that I can move on and start the rehab process. I'm looking forward to having it done and getting my freedom back. So Dorsal Orthopaedic have been working um, with osseo patients for the last probably eight years now. Um, uh, initially with the Osseo International team over in Australia and more recently since about 2017, 2018 we've been working with the Relim team um, which is uh, Norbert Kang and Alex Woolard and we now have a regular service so we have regular monthly MDT clinics um, up at the Royal Free in London uh, where myself and colleague Moose Baxter join them to assess new patients, review um, existing patients um, and also bring together other areas that, that need to be looked at with clinical psychologists, with uh, anaesthetists, to make sure that these patients who are about to embark on this um, episode of surgery and rehabilitation are in the best physical shape, um, mental shape, and, and, and are really aware and suitable um, for, for, for their up and coming treatments.